past August 1st, Gary Johnson, presidential candidate on a libertarian ticket, came through here in Seattle and stopped at Pike Place Market. I came down and interviewed him, and along with a few others, such as the Washington State Libertarian Chairman, uh, Larry Nicholas. And uh, we talked about different issues, such as the overseas war, the war on drugs, uh, deficits, and so on. We also talked about the rise of the libertarian movement. And isidewith.com, which is a poll where you can select uh, your preferences on all the issues, and it will determine which presidential candidate you align with more. And over a million have taken it, and most actually side with Gary Johnson. Um, so, um, if you will excuse the uh, somewhat amateur uh, recording, uh, I was using my phone on the fly and trying to get the best angle and audio for you guys. But without further ado, here's our interview with Gary Johnson. So here at Pike's Place Market, where uh, we're uh, looking for Gary Johnson, he's uh, going to be present, and see of all the signs holding up signs for Gary Johnson, Libertarian candidate for president. My name is Justin. I'm with uh, Seattle Activist Report. We're, uh, we're uh, uh, sorry. I'm trying to get you on the video. Uh, we're a local news reporter reporting um, that we're trying to just get get off the ground right now. But me and my friends uh, are you know, supporting you, and we just wanted to. Um, I just maybe ask a question or two. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, so it looks like you know with Ron Paul, and I don't think every all states can write him in. Um, what's your opinion on whether he can win, and what's and Compared to your eligibility for be able to win the presidency? Well, actually, I don't think you'd be able to write him in anywhere. Uh, and so, of the three candidates that are on the ballot in all 50 states, I'm making the pitch that I'm not the third choice, that I'm the only choice. Yeah. And, and that it's not a compromise vote when it comes to me as opposed to Ron Paul. And right. Not a compromise vote. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not Ron Paul, but, yeah. but uh, I'm not a... I'm not a handicap to the to yeah. positions at all. Yeah, exactly. So you are the libertarian choice for now. I am the libertarian like. nominee. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, right. Yeah. Cool. Um, one question: What do you think about drones? What do I think about drones? Um, you know, I'm really, uh, I'm really concerned about thirty thousand drones. I think, yeah. I think it's an extension of the drug war myself. Yeah. I, think uh, I think it's to fly around, and see what's growing in your backyard. Right. Right. Seven trillion, and we're double that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. 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 Uh, 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 equal, uh, 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 right? We, we need to stop, uh, stop spending, slash spending, and uh, eliminate the deficit. That's my so What's the danger in having these spending? What's the uh, the uh, ensuing inflation that's going to come along with uh, borrowing and printing money to the tune of forty-three cents out of every dollar. There will be a consequence to that. It'll be that the dollars we have don't buy anything. Nope. Well, but that's that's the because the government is borrowing. That sounds like well, they're, well, they're they're borrowing it, but they're they're printing it. So they're they're creating their own. They're buying their own. We're buying our own debt. How are you, young man? Gary Johnson. Sergeant Major. Thank you for coming, young man. I'm in the military. Very good to meet you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your service. You're from Iraq. Or he has been desperate. Uh, and he's 
Look, I can't do it. I like you. I'm sorry. Why don't you go around to the other side and take pictures? I got these brochures I'm going to pass out to VA. Oh, thank you. My friend. Thank you. Because I'm almost field time, right? But I'd like to cut your job. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. You don't pressure her. It doesn't because I'm African American. I, I really don't like the bottom. You are. I don't like Romney. I like him. <laughs> well, I don't, want, I don't want this to happen to others. I just I want to, I want to stop this from happening to others. And I thank you for your service. Yes. Hey, Gary. I, I, I did it. Right. So, so you can do what you do. Yeah. Help me. Uh, right. Exactly. I, I got that it. That makes me feel good. I got it. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I like the way you... <laughs> I can tell, hey, I've been on 27 years. I can tell I'm like a person. Thank you. You look more like a lieutenant or a captain. <laughs>
can go from five to eight or nine, and at that point, it really can break wide open. Yeah, wow. Um, I'm gonna think uh, Ross Perot, he, he, he kind of broke that wide open, and then there was some, uh, I guess, uh, things that went down that then bode well for his campaign. I guess he, he dropped out or whatever. And, and you know, and the, the Ross Perot, one of the things that's very different from this is uh, the ability of a libertarian and the ability of Gary Johnson to draw from different parts of the political spectrum. Right, yeah. It's not like Ross Perot is basically getting Republicans. Yeah. Uh, whereas we can pull in people from the left and from the right and a lot of people who simply have not been interested in politics right it, yeah independents disenfranchised yes. voters yeah yes and it's a lot easier a lot less activation energy to get people who aren't in the process rather than trying to convert somebody right. who's yeah. a dedicated Republican or Democrat you're just it just takes too much money and effort and time right it's, it's uh, much more sensible to get about the third of the electorate that doesn't bother voting yeah get them into the process yeah so what is it is that the number about a third that that doesn't usually that vote doesn't vote yeah yeah wow yeah that, why bother and they, so if we can pull in definitely lot, you know, a significant number of those people make a that, huge dent and it's a lot easier than taking someone who votes a Democrat, you know, Democrat all the time and yes right. I'm going to vote for a libertarian <laughs> it's, it's a lot harder yeah yeah exactly Hey, so this is uh, Larry Nicholas. You're the chairman of the Libertarian Party of Washington State. Yes. Um, I just was wondering what you think, um, I know you're, I guess you're kind of in the loop of things, uh, what, how the libertarian kind of sentiment is growing, um, because we, I know we all see it growing in different ways, and um, um, do you see a, a good future for libertarianism, or, or what do you see developing right now? I think libertarianism is growing for the last 10 years for sure. It's a lot more in the mainstream. You have a lot of people talking about it from both sides. You, know, you have Glenn Beck talking about it. You got other people on the left talking about being libertarianism and some of the ideas that we have. You know, maybe privatizing some things, cutting the size of government and so on. So I do see that it's growing and becoming more popular right now. Cool. Um... What do you think about uh, Gary Johnson's uh, chances of, of maybe at least you know getting in the debate and, and getting a good portion of the vote? What do you th well, I think they're, well, they're pretty good. Uh, and uh, he's now on three um, pollings, uh, which is great. And if you can get the mainstream media to at least announce that he's got 5% now or 6% or whatever state it is, maybe he's got 10%. The more that they announce it, the more that people say, well, who's this Gary Johnson guy? And they're going to Google Governor Gary Johnson and find out a little bit more about him. And they're probably going to find out they agree with him on a lot of things. Yeah, uh, we were just talking with um, Fritz about um, this poll. Uh, uh, I can't remember what the name was right now, but anyway, you, you decide your um, your stance on the I issues. I side with. Yes, yeah. I side I with. I side with. Um, yeah. yeah. And uh, more people side with Gary Johnson, it seems, than yes. any other. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So it looks like we need to get people aware of, uh, of you know, how how popular he actually is. Yeah. And, and, the, and the new media and the social media today is, is a great way to do that. Cool.